everyone, Chocolate Birds here for another video review this time of the new Zebra Kit Kat. Yeah, look at that, very exciting, yes. Looks pretty nice, isn't it, actually? Yeah, dark and white chocolate, as you can as you can see. <laughs> yeah, very interesting one. I'm quite excited about this one. It's very reminiscent to the ones I've, um, was, maybe was it, was it two years ago? A year or two ago now? Um, yeah, probably was that long ago, crikey. Um, yeah, so I think they were imported from Spain or maybe a couple of countries. You know, Spain amongst others, maybe. Um, had a similar fare going on, really. It was like uh, they were, but they were actually, they were quite big. They were sort of like, I guess maybe, I don't know. I think they were like four um times the size of this i think they were quite big and long i can't quite remember i'm not sure anyway but the gist of it is there were similar sort of things going on a bit bigger than these anyway um but it was like sort of i think dark and milk chocolate i think and maybe sort of dark and or milk and caramel chocolate or something like that so they were quite similar similar pattern at least maybe a bit more marbled than zebra i'm not sure but hmm Pretty reminiscent of those anyway, they were sort of never really released officially in the UK, I don't think, they were just in B&M and places like that on imports. But this is actually a UK release, it's not um, an import, so yeah, very interesting. Yeah, I think mean, it looks very nice as well. And you can see it's actually, well, at least looking at it from here, it looks like it's white white, not sort of the creamy white of, uh, of um, you know, white chocolate, but it probably will be a bit more creamy colour when I open it, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, so what's it saying? Yeah, four crispy wafer fingers covered in dark chocolate, thirty nine point five percent. It says, and white chocolate, twenty seven point five percent. See if you can see. Yeah, thirty nine point five. There we go. Yeah, does that palm oil in it? Yes, it does. Fat palm. You can see in big brackets there. Yeah. Okay. Does it say what the cocoa? Solids are anything like that? Forty four point five grams. Rainforest Alliance supports those. Okay. Um, yeah, it's easily say there, does it? But uh, yeah, I've got the calories there as well. Let's do those while we're at it. I can't see any, uh, you know, what, what a percentage cocoa it is and stuff like this. But uh, there we go. So they got per hundred grams. And obviously, we said a minute ago it was. Uh, oh, it's under there now. <laughs> Forty-one point five grams is the whole thing. But uh, yeah, so per hundred grams, it's uh, five hundred twenty-one calories, twenty-seven point six grams of fat, fourteen point eight of which are saturates. And per bar, I assume that's the whole thing. Um, 217 calories, 11.5 grams of fat, 6.1 of which is saturated. So per 100 grams, it's on the lower end of the 5 to 600 scale, isn't it, that we sometimes get. Um, yeah, we usually around 550, I think, so on the lower end of them. Some things some things you get which are a bit uh, under 500. I think that's pretty good for a snack, basically. Okay, yeah, it looks very interesting. Um, let's have got some flourishes going on here, as always. Yeah, I'm sure back in the day it used to just be... Um, I'm sure you used to not have the flourishes on them, so there's oh, a couple of, let's say, oh, quite prominent flourishes there. Um, yeah, I'm sure it used to just be like that when they did the four finger version back in the day, because it was originally, well, from my memory anyway, you could only ever get Kit Kats in two fingered versions. Um, yeah, and the four finger one was a big one, so they didn't really need to sort of make it look bigger, but they seem to do that now anyway. Um, yeah, I think so anyway. I'm sure it's like a still in the foil wrapper and things, but might be misremembering that. Um, yeah, so as you don't know, you probably might have worked it out already just based on the front picture, but you might not have done. So it's basically, um, it's a four finger bar, this. Usually it's two fingers, like, um, uh, essentially, well, like that. <laughs> so like a chocolate covered wafer, um, with separated by mini layers of chocolate as well. Um, yeah, and there's usually two fingers, but two fingers really, um, in Kit Kats, but they do these bigger ones. Um, which are four four fingered versions. Now um, you probably can't get a two fingered version of this. I'm not sure, but uh, some things, you, some of the Kit Kats you can get in two fingered, not in four, and some in four, not in two. And I think this is one of those. They do a Ruby Kit Kat, didn't they? I think they might still do that, but um, it's just a die to death Ruby chocolate, doesn't it? But it's disappeared, I think. But um, that was only in a four fingered version. Um, whereas the lemon drizzle one, I think, was only two fingered. You buy the, the two fingered ones, you generally buy in a big pack of ten or something or whatever. Um, so there we go. Yeah, it looks very nice. But I think we should, uh, yeah, give it open. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's give it an open. <laughs> okay, then, so we're going to do this uh, Kit Kat's Zebra dark and white and open. Yeah, so I, I, say, I couldn't find the, um, you know, it actually said what uh, percentage cocoa it was or whatever in it. Uh, I need to say. With the dark chocolate and things. Yeah, it doesn't seem to specifically say, so I'm not sure about that. Probably, uh, yeah, don't know. Hmm. There we go, that's got on the side of our Kit Kat Zebra. So it looks very nice. But yeah, quite like the packaging. Still got the red Kit Kat, but it does come across very zebra like, I think you'd say. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's just measure the uh, the flourishes then. My old, uh, I've got the 
Got the digital calipers, but I'll use the uh, because it's the flourishes. Easy with the with the ruler. Uh, see, it's about eleven point eight. Okay, so we're at eleven point eight there. So we'll see how much it shrinks. A nice bit of an open. Oh, yes. Mm. Okay. It's all one colour on the bottom. All right. Well. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. Don't think it's quite the zebra pattern we were expecting. <laughs> um, I mean, you know. Yeah, it's very striped on the front. This is just marbled. So it has gone the marbled look, like those other ones that we was talking about before. Um, yeah, hmm, okay. Yeah, I guess it's still, you know, if you had to name an animal it looked like, you'd probably say a zebra still, but um, yeah, clearly not quite what it looks like on the packet, really. But you could fluke it and say, oh yeah, it does in some respects, so from some angles and some points of it. Um, but it's clearly a randomised marble pattern rather than really look trying to look like a zebra pattern. Um, you know, they've just had this product and thought, right, okay, let's, let's do the same thing, call it zebra. We've got this, what can we call it? Zebra, you know. <laughs> Which is fair enough, I guess. But, um, yeah. Mm. Okay, well, it looks all right. It looks all right. It's not as good as the, uh, well, it's about the same as the, the other ones. We've got the other Spanish ones and things. About the same as those. Um, just a different colour, really. Mm, okay, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. So what was the length of the something point eight, wasn't it? Or just roughly? Yeah, I think it was about uh, eleven point eight, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was eleven point eight. Measure it now. What it's what it's now uh, at the height. So let's see. Let's do the old careful them. Drop them. I always keep dropping these things. Okay. It there, and that is 9.1 centimeters. So we lost a couple of, yeah, that's almost two centimeters there. Yeah, hmm, almost three centimeters actually. Hmm, almost three centimeters there. That's a bit surprised, isn't it? So look, does that stand up? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does stand up. Look at that. So three centimeters there on the, uh, on the wrapper, pretty much. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, three centimetres. Disappointing that, disappointing. Yeah, uh, just measure it there. Yeah, about three centimetres, yeah, it does, does work out. Yeah, okay. Mm. All right, well, it's a uh, typical Kit Kat size, though. Um, yeah, three centimetres, you know, it's nice. It's a third of the... third of it you've uh, lost. Okay, the height-wise... Each finger, about 9.5 centimetres. And on. <laughs> it's about a point nine, about a centimetre, it's point nine, not nine point five centimetres. <laughs> point nine centimetres there, point, point maybe a centimetre to round up. And uh, what's the one we've not done? The width. Let's see, it's not, it's wide at the bottom at the top. It's about 6.3 centimetres there. At the top, the width. Yeah, as, best, as good as we can, roughly. About 5.9. Okay. Hmm. All right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of shame with the flourishes there. As I say, would not ex really expect to lose that much, but as I say, you've lost a third. Well, you know, what you get, it's a third more on top of it. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay, right. Yeah, so let's give it a look. I've just. Oh, let's see. Right. Um, all right, yeah. So let's give it a bit of a snap. Okay. Uh, this is one individual finger here, so we'll. There we go. Yeah, that's looked, uh, they look quite nice on the inside, don't they? But you can see the middle doesn't appear to be dark chocolate. That's been a problem of mine with some of these uh, Kit Kats, uh, limited edition and things. They don't do a sort of, they do a different chocolate on the outside, but not on the inside, like a white chocolate one or whatever. It still has milk chocolate or whatever on the middle. I don't really know what it's actually described as, that middle part. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say, so I don't know if it's specifically chocolate or something else, but... Oftentimes they don't change the sensor, which is a bit of a shame. But I've seen them do it on a couple of occasions, and it's extra special when they do do that. Yeah, all right, looks pretty nice. Typical kick out affair there, I think. Not sure you're going to taste much of the white chocolate, really. Um, but you can see it's quite thick in places, you know, on that side there, uh, on the left as you look at it. 
um, it's, you know, it's pretty prominent there. It does say, uh, it does say on the white, the white chocolate is twenty seven point three percent, whereas but it does say that the dark chocolate is thirty nine point five. So, um, yeah, if you can see that this corner up here. Mm. So you know, it's less white chocolate anyway, which is a shame. But of course, the bottom is all dark chocolate, I guess. So that might be why. But even so, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, right. Well, I think we should. Uh, yeah, we should give it a taste. And why not? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> okay, I want to give this a zebra Kit Kat a taste. Yeah, zebra dark and white. Yeah, looks looks interesting. Not quite as good uh, in hand as it does on the wrapper or implies on the wrapper anyway. But um, yeah, no, it does look white rather than sort of the creamy white of white chocolate generally i think it's obviously merged in a bit on places like there and typically here it looks a bit sort of creamy but generally it looks quite actually white white doesn't it so like a zebra so yeah all right well see how much we can taste of it then i'm a bit uh, apprehensive as to how white it's going to taste as the white half of it i think the dark chocolate's going to be more prominent for sure and it is more um white chocolate uh, more dark chocolate in it as it's as mentioned on here um 39.5 dark chocolate whereas it's only 27.5 white chocolate but the whole of the bottom is you know the dark chocolate so that might account for it maybe okay <laughs> let's give it a taste let's do it mm. Mm. not bad mm. definitely um mm. yeah like i thought it's definitely dark chocolate tasting really i think the dark chocolate is definitely the the more prominent taste. Um, mm. Mm. Yeah, I can't really taste the white chocolate. Mm. It just tastes a bit, um, maybe slightly creamy though, as in, you know, you can taste there's something there. It's not quite as rich as you might be expecting, but then that could still be the dark chocolate not being quite as rich. A dark chocolate doesn't tell you what uh, cocoa solids or whatever it is in here. So, mm. Have to bear that in mind, but um, yeah, overall, it's not too bad actually. It's not bad, not nice, crisp, um, you know, crunch to the wafer and things as you'd expect. Mm. Yeah, it's just not quite as rich as perhaps the dark chocolate would be otherwise. So maybe it's the white chocolate sort of tempering it a bit. Um, mm. I think, um, yeah. I mean, it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. It doesn't quite, as I say, it's got that sort of dark chocolate richness to it, but it does seem to be slightly, slightly, as I say, sort of temp you know, tempered with um, what I assume is the white chocolate doing it. But, uh, hmm. <laughs> I covered my face. Will it uh, zoom in? There we go. Hmm. You can see the nice uh, layers there as well. But the layers, of course, are not... Well, not white chocolate or dark chocolate, I don't know what they're usually are. I think it's just meant they're just milk chocolate still, which is a shame. Hmm. Yeah, but you can see sometimes though, in the layer around the edge of this part at least, this it's all dark chocolate around the edge, you know, it's not a uh, hmm. Yeah, so it's um difficult to know just how much white chocolate's there really, and it's obviously mixed in with the dark chocolate as well to an extent. You can still see it, but uh hmm. Oh, well, I quite like it. It gets a nice anyway. Um, you know, mm. I think this is a nice halfway house between a sort of dark and a milk chocolate almost. I think it kind of works that way. Um, yeah, I think it looks all right. I don't think it looks as good as perhaps you'd expect it to. Um, but you know, it's yeah, it's got a nice Kit Kat bandy on there as well. It looks, it looks okay, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, as I say, not quite the. The zebra pattern really that you did that you're expecting but nonetheless maybe i'm being a bit harsh on it maybe i'm being a bit harsh there um but it's obviously a bit more swirly rather than stripy um you know mm, it's a gist of it you know in some places anyway but yeah overall i think it's not bad i think it tastes quite nice i like the uh I like the dark chocolate taste can't really taste the white chocolate specifically but i think it does mix in with the dark chocolate to give it a less rich taste a bit more of a creamy dark chocolate taste um hmm. so it's almost like you get something like a you almost get like a nice dark milk here really maybe this is what dark milk should be all these other companies are releasing you know dark milk or whatever and it's uh like a i think a high you know percentage cocoa milk chocolate i guess um 
But I think this one works. I think this just gives you the taste. I mean, they, they don't taste very nice, really, dark milk, as far as I can see, whenever I've had it. But this actually um, tastes like I'd expect dark milk to taste. Um, it's still got rich taste, but sort of, it sort of seems to be tempered, as I say. Hmm. Yeah. The key thing, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Which is what dark milk doesn't tend to achieve. Hmm. Yeah, so for me, I think this one's um, not going to blow your socks off, but it's a nice, it's a nice kick out. I think I'm going to say, you know, a four out of five. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I think it works really well. It looks nice. Perhaps not quite as as you'd expect, but I think it still looks nice. Um, tastes good. It's got the dark chocolate taste. So you can't really taste white chocolate, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I should have. Well, for me, I'm used to that now. Being disappointed where something that says something and white chocolate you never taste the white chocolate it's it's always overpowered really um you know generally anyway um so you know there is that so you could be disappointed there but i think it does it does have an added effect of sort of as i say holding back the dark chocolate from being too rich so i think it's still there and i think that's acceptable and fair enough as um as being a representation of white chocolate there um but you're not going to get it you know as a sort of like a specific stripe of white chocolate so it's a clump of white chocolate and a clump of dark chocolate you know it's mixed in basically um so there is that and that's well i didn't expect that you know looking at the front it looked to be marble to me i mean it's perhaps a bit more white chocolate than well maybe not actually mm, yeah let's say maybe it's more white chocolate than there really is but well there probably is actually because i think on the <laughs> it's not it's not as prominent the white chocolate same um, generally but that's, could also could be because of the bottom not having any of it so, hmm, give them benefit of the doubt there. Um, but basically, there isn't as much white chocolate as dark in the bar. Um, but yeah, it's nice. I like it. Yeah, it does exactly what you'd think, I think, really. It doesn't sort of blow your socks off or anything, but it's a nice Kit Kat. Looks nice. Um, I like the branding of it. Um, I say the whole, you know, flourishes part where you lose, a, basically, you know, the, the wrapper implies it's a third bigger than it is. You know, it's a bit rubbish. It's longer anyway. Um, hmm, yeah, so there is that, but it's quite a standard affair, really. I think uh, normally a fifth is what I, I deem tolerable. This is a third that you've lost. Um, so I think that's too much that really, but uh, I'm not going to mark it down for it because I mean, it's so common these days. Um, and sometimes it just depends on the size of the bar as well, you know, so. Mm. But I have seen a lot worse than this, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, but yeah, a four out of five. Definitely recommend this one. It's a nice one. I say you won't blow your socks off, um, but it's a nice look at, nice to taste, not too rich does a good job of doing what dark milk can't um, or doesn't <laughs> um, and just yeah just provides a happy medium between a sort of a milk and a white and a dark chocolate really um, even though there's no milk chocolate there other than perhaps in the center just that white that white chocolate mixed with the dark chocolate seems to achieve the same thing that I would say dark milk should achieve and doesn't it just doesn't taste nice generally dark milk from my experience so hmm. although I'm looking out for those new era offerings we'll see what they're like hopefully they'll um do a good job of it but yeah i don't know <laughs> galaxy and uh, dairy milk or, or cadbury haven't managed it so far so yeah so we'll see <laughs> but four out of five there we go <laughs> okay guys hope you enjoyed that review follow me on twitter and instagram check out the member program as well for exclusive content It'd be great if you could do so um it'd be great way to help out the channel and um, but leave a comment or free either way it's always lovely to hear from you also and i do reply so um yeah i'll see you in the comments and check out the discord channel as well <laughs> take care everyone bye for now see ya <laughs>